Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some date night outfits. If you're already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carla, and on this channel I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos then please subscribe down below. Okay, so we're going to jump right into this video and I want to put out there that I primarily focused on two sets, um, a very colorful set and then a basic set. And I did that because, you know, there's a lot that you can do with clothing sets, whether they're long pants and a long shirt, or they're biker short sets, or just sweat sets, sweatsuit sets, whatever the case may be, sets are just amazing and I've said that multiple times in other videos and this is exactly why I want to show you guys 10 outfits 10 date night outfits just primarily focusing on these sets so the first outfit is one of the sets and it's this it's not floral um, I more I call it floral but it's more of like you know those angelic um, sets that are out there and this is a long sleeve set I did get this one from pretty little thing it does have an oversized fit which I do appreciate and you'll see why um, it has an oversized fit and I'm just wearing it here you know just basic I tucked it in in the front and I left the back out it's just more of like that front tuck I have an entire video on how to tuck your shirts in which I will have right here or right here um, but I just basic tuck in the front I love this set because the pants are high-waisted which also allows me to wear this multiple ways and it's more of a flowy you know wide leg kind of fit I paired this with my orange coach pillow tabby which by the time you're watching this video, they're out. Hopefully they're not sold out, but get your hands on a pillow tabby. They're one so soft and you can just wear them so many ways. You can wear it just top handle like I have here with the shorter shoulder strap. And then there's a longer, a longer shoulder strap or a longer strap that you can pair as a crossbody or just as a shoulder bag but just get your hands on it they have it in black they have it in white um, I believe this orange one I have is sold out but nonetheless get your hands on one and then I paired this set with my Zara heels guys 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 I'm going to try to link this down below if it's still available I will have it in the description box you have to get your hands on these heels because of the transparency of the straps it allows you to pair this so many ways and then the color it's that nude color so you know you can pair it with a lot of things like I did here so this next outfit is the second set that I mentioned in the beginning of this video so this is a black basic set this is from my boutique shop Carla Simon um, you do get the black crop top and then once again you have the black long flowy wide leg pants there's a reason why I chose for these sets in particular I chose high-waisted and flowy pants they just pair better with a lot of things and I chose this basic set because the other one was long sleeve and oversized and this one is a more tight crop top fitted kind of top um, whenever you're wearing oversized items you want to pair something that's tighter you can go full oversized like I did in the first outfit that I just shared but if you want to do more versatile fits choose another outfit or choose another set that's more fitted on the top or on the bottom and I went ahead and I paired my royal blue guys I love these heels my royal blue heels from pretty little thing they do have a towel type of material but I love the knot detail in the front I just feel like it's a it's it's like a statement piece um you can tell that I have something blue on um, when I'm walking with this set on but you're like oh my god I wonder what her shoes look like like I see the blue it's a stunning blue it's a statement kind of blue but what are they and then if you want you can you can show the heels and like I said it's a statement piece it's something you know that's going to call people's attention and then just with the basic black it definitely 
calls or stands out more and then I just paired this with my Louis Vuitton little I don't even know what to call it it's not a clutch like a little I don't know I guess we'll call it a clutch um, for this video but I did get it in the Karagami set in the Escal collection um, but yeah this is the outfit the second date night outfit that I wanted to share with you this next date night outfit I just took one piece from each of the sets and this is what I was talking about when you don't want to go fully oversized and you don't want to wear something too tight you know you're probably going out to eat and if you're anything like me you're going to eat a good amount of food um so you want a little bit of room you want a little bit of comfort and that's what i was thinking of when i paired this set so i just took the black crop top from the black set from my boutique shop carla simon once again um and i just paired it with the pretty little thing bottoms I mentioned they were high-waisted, they're flowy, they're long, they're wide leg, so this is the look that you get when you pair something like that together. Again, when you wear, if you don't wanna, if you're uncomfortable, say you're watching this video and you're trying to add a little bit of print, a little bit of color into your style, I always recommend adding a basic color, whether it's black or white just to tone it down a little bit um, this outfit may still be a little much if that's what you're doing because the pants are you know they're they're the longest and they're the most material and they're the loudest so if you're just starting out I would probably not do this because this may make you feel a little bit uncomfortable but if you're not and you love prints like I do but you want to tone it down a little bit this is the way you want to do it so like I said black basic crop top these are the pants with the shoes you can do whatever you want because they are longer but i chose to use the blue shoes again i love color guys i love color um i love basics but again i love color um so i just have my blue heels on and i again i paired it with my orange coach pillow tabby the fourth outfit we have i just switched things around here um, so I took the top from pretty little thing and then I paired it with my black basic wide leg high-waisted pants this is more of an outfit that I will recommend if you're trying to add color and prints into your style um, again because most of the material here is a basic color so you have the bottoms that are black basic most of your material and then your pop of color is on the top with the pretty little thing top and all I did here was I unbuttoned the bottom and I just tied it for this flowy fun kind of islandy um vibe here and i paired this outfit with my black heels i wanted something that was again simple and basic with my pants so black was it and i paired it with my green or they actually describe it as sage my sage brandon blackwood trunk bag guys this outfit probably my favorite out of everything this was probably my favorite outfit because it was just so comfortable and so fun the fifth date night outfit is again fun um dinner maybe a movie maybe just hanging out with friends you know you don't want to be too dressy but you want to be dressy like a dressy casual fit um so i took the printed top and i paired it with just some basic well these aren't really basic but i paired them with some denim um these are more oversized comfortable you get the rips um kind of make it a little more casual um so i paired my top with some jeans and then i threw on my Zara heels which I explained you to you guys that you should definitely get one and as you can see here um, because of the translucent clear nature of the heels it almost I don't know I don't know how to describe what the heels do but they do something to the outfit right like I feel like if I paired black heels it would look good but the clear translucentness and the nudeness of the heels just make it look better and I paired it with my Telfar handbag and I chose the blue and you'll see a lot of blue um, when I accessorized or I add extra pieces to this outfit because in this set there's a lot of blue um, well not a lot but 
you'll see like some light blues, some royal blues, and I was trying to pull that from the outfit, and that's something I do whenever I'm trying to pair um, shoes or accessories. I try to find a color that's in my outfit that's not pronounced, it's not bold, and I just wanna pull it out. So that's why I chose the blue, and you'll see a lot of blue with the shoes and the handbag, and, and you'll just see what I'm talking about in my other outfits. And I wanted to point out that these jeans were from Pretty Little Thing. I actually did a haul sharing these pants, and they look they look nice this way, and there's a reason why I paired um, and I styled my shirt this way is because um, the fit of these jeans are a bit tricky. They're a little tight in the front area, so I was trying to cover that with the shirt, which is a kind of a hack, not a hack, but just something to encourage you if you have jeans that you really don't like a certain area, and you, but you love the jeans and the look of the jeans overall, maybe try to pair something with those jeans that you can cover um, an oversized top. If it's the front, kind of do this half front tuck like I did. If it's the back of your bottoms, maybe you can do a front tuck and have the back hanging out. Just kind of ideas that you can do when you're pairing your outfits. Next outfit, I kind of lost track as to what number <laughs> outfit we're on, but the next date night outfit idea is this outfit. I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit because I'm giving a lot of tips and tricks here and it's kind of making the video long. Um, so the next outfit, I just took the black basic set and what I did was I took the top from the Pretty Little Thing and I just used that as a blazer or just an oversized shirt that I threw over to add a little bit of color to my outfit. And for shoes, I just kept it basic. I just kept my black heels. Um, again, this is so that when I'm walking, if I just, if I'm not wanting bold colors, I'm just gonna keep it black and simple because you're, you're going to see it as you're walking. Um, when you're standing, you may be able to cover your shoes, but as you're walking, you will be able to see them. So that's why I chose black. And then again, I chose to pull the greens from the shirt that I threw over and I paired it with my Brandon Blackwood Kendrick trunk bag. So with this outfit, I was going for something more, okay, maybe I wore this to work um, kind of outfit. You wouldn't really show your, your midriff as much, so you could pull the shirt down a little, um, but you know, you have that blazer on, pop of color, because this set is basic. So you're getting the all black, like I paired here, the black crop top, the high-waisted wide leg pants with black shoes. If you love basic and you just wanted to wear something monochromatic, you wanted something that, you know, cause monochromatic outfits make you look elegant and classy, but you wanted to just add a pop of color, you could do it this way with a blazer like this, like I did. Um, so this blue, royal blue blazer, I got this from, oh, it's old. I, I wanna say Boohoo, um, because that's where I pick up my blazers where when I want something that has color, but I don't wanna spend too much, um, but I feel like it's gonna last me a little bit of time, maybe a couple years. I go to Boohoo, so this blazer is probably from Boohoo. Um, so I took this blazer and I paired it with this set because again, the pop of color. And also, if you look closely, closely, the buttons on this blazer is black. So sometimes, guys, I choose things for a reason and I wish there was a video I could make where I just specify every single thing that I do. I do tell people that when you're pairing outfits, Styling is an art. It's an art and sometimes your brain just puts things together but there's a rhyme and reason to it and sometimes there isn't a rhyme or a reason to it um, but again, it's just art. But in this case, there's a reason why I chose this particular blazer and it's because of the pop of color and the black buttons to pair everything together. And as you can see here, I use my clutch because that's what we're calling it, um, the Louis Vuitton clutch. All right guys, so the next outfit I want to share with you is again, comfortable, casual, um, fun, going out to eat with friends, going out to eat with your significant other, 
movie night um, kind of outfit. So what I did was I just kept the blue blazer with the black crop top and then I just threw the jeans back on, um, the jeans that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I did it because of the rips and the comfort and how oversized it is. And again, I just paired it with my Zara heels um, just to, you know, not take too much from the upper portion of my outfit, just to keep the lower portion of this outfit nice and simple. And I paired it again with the little Louis Vuitton clutch. Okay, the next outfit, I wanna say we are on the ninth outfit at this point. Uh, but the next outfit, date night outfit, I chose to pair, again, the black bottoms, but I wanted to bring the the print back in. Um, so I just took it, I tucked it completely in, so I did it all the way around. And when I, when I wore it and when I had it on, I was like, mm, I feel like it's missing something. What is this outfit missing? Um, and then I just grabbed the blazer and I was like, okay, I think this is what it was missing. But then the key part for me was to make sure that the collar was kind of over the blazer and that the sleeves were kind of hanging out of the blazer a little bit, just so that the top doesn't get lost in the blazer. I wanted to show that this is the top I have on. I have the blazer on as well. Maybe it's a chilly night, but I want you to know that this is the top I have on. So I made sure that the collar and the sleeves were hanging out a little bit. Again, with the shoes, basic black shoes. And I paired this with the Brandon Blackwood trunk bag. So again, this can be a date night outfit, um, a more conservative date night outfit. But honestly, I was like, hmm, I could probably wear this to work as a business um, kind of outfit you could wear it to church there are so many ways that you can pair this particular outfit the others not so much um, because they were either showing my midriff or had a lot of rips and stuff and for me I just feel like those are more outings kind of outfit this one more conservative and I feel like it's a more versatile outfit that can be worn to many different places okay guys so the last outfit I was like okay I want to find a way to pair full prints and I was going all out on this one I, I know that this outfit's gonna be bold this is for my bold people out there because this outfit speaks volumes it's not the black we're going to be, we're gonna walk in that room and without saying a word, we're gonna be saying a lot. Um, so I paired the entire set from Pretty Little Thing and then what I did was I added even more color um, and I threw the blazer over the set. And for shoes here, I just paired my Zara heels because I felt like I had a lot going on already. If you wanted to add a little more color, you could probably pair you know, the blue heels that I shared, the towel heels from Pretty Little Thing, or any other shoes that you have that have color, you could do that, but I wanted to just, I don't wanna say tone it down, but kinda of tone it down a little bit, and I chose the nude heels from Zara because there there's nude um, to the Pretty Little Thing set. So I chose those heels, and then for the bag, color it, color again because we're adding color to this. We're gonna be bold, bold when we wear this out. I decided to pair it with my Telfar bag, um, my cute baby blue, sky blue Telfar bag. Again, pulling the little bits of blues out of my outfit, and this was what we got. And I feel like, again, you don't have to say much when you walk into that room. Your outfit says enough. You. You did not come to play, you came to slay. And guys, those are all of the outfits that I wanted to share with you. Please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. Guys, I will have most of the items linked down below in the description box. If I can't really find it, I'll try to find something similar to it and have it in the description box. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. See you in the next video.